fuselage in the uh, uh, un unboxing they're, they're doing a 3d uh, cockpit a 3d printed cockpit so that you can add a lot of the different extras and stuff to this thing because otherwise some of this stuff is kind of basic on the inside they really really did leave this thing open and, and wide open for uh, uh, you know somebody that likes doing gadgets and putting all the little intricate things and running the lines and the hoses incidentally on, on YouTube I did find a uh, a very nice walkthrough of this plane if you're interested in watching it. I'll see if I can find the link and I'll put it at the end of this video for you. Uh, anyway, uh, Motion RC, they took care of it. Motor on the way, outstanding. The guys are great. Um, I'm going to start putting this thing together. We're going to do it in a time lapse. Uh, Motion RC does it with people talking, with the guy talking and explaining stuff. Uh, watch their video too. It's outstanding. They show everything. They explain pretty much everything. Uh, I'm going to put it together and do it in speed fashion with uh, uh, time lapse. Uh, if you need to slow it down or put it in slow motion, it will be being framed at uh, one shot every second. So no matter what I'm doing, if you slow it down or stop, you'll see exactly what I'm doing if there's something. And if there's something that I find that I run into a problem with, I'll make mention of it and stuff uh, in the review, the after build review. Okay, so you guys hold tight. Hope you enjoy the show and see you in a bit. Okay guys, this is where uh, it might get a little confusing with all these connectors and stuff they give you, but it is really pretty much goof proof. They're all sized to fit the same sizes. You really can't go wrong with them. Bottom line is if you want to check it, make sure you've got uh, a red and a black going to each side off of each harness. Okay, so red and black going to each side off of each side here, and a red and black of each going to each side again on this one so we know we've got power going to all four motors that way and it's being diversified uh, through the batteries that way the batteries are running one battery is running inboard motors the other battery is running the outboard motors the way it should be outstanding way to go there guys at motion RC uh, 
flight line RC, motion RC, same guys. Anyway, good job there. I remember the B-17G, I had to, uh, you know, just purposely wire it different because uh, it just didn't make sense doing it the way it was. Uh, Captain Ryan even pointed that out back then. Pretty much now, basically, the, um, the basic build here is pretty much complete. I have not put the receiver in. Uh, as it, I've, uh, I've got that new one from Admiral with the gyro and the different stabilizing modes and stuff and I want to practice around with that a little bit before uh, I uh, get it going here and, and, and show you guys uh, but it'll be probably a separate video on the receiver installation and how it works uh, remember it's got super stabilization it's got regular stabilization and then you, it's got acro mode so you can turn it off too um, anyway basic build here is pretty much done in the book and in the build video, they're showing to put the props on before you put the wings on. I don't believe that that's really the best thing to do for most 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 people. Really, just don't do that for the simple safety safety. You know that there's the key word safety. Uh, I want to power up the electronics and everything and spin the motors. I certainly don't want those props on when I do that, do I? So props go on last, guys. As far as I'm concerned, uh, regardless what they say. Uh, we'll check the directions of the motors when they're spinning without props. That's easy enough. Put a piece of tape on there. Okay. And this should pretty much conclude the uh, basic build. The other stuff, I've got a lot of plans for this plane. In fact, the only... Uh, where's my finishing piece here? I just had it. There we go. I'm going to do the easy finishing piece right here. and Because uh, I'm not really done with this plane. This is a ready-to-go nose cone. Uh, the J turret has to be assembled and stuff like that, and I'm thinking seriously about getting an FPV camera and a servo and stuff to put in there. So that's going to be a different feature altogether. Either I'll show you the plane altogether when I've got the decals on it and all my customizations, and I'm not sure if I'm going to put any lights or anything on this thing or not. I don't see any videos out there of any of these scale Warbird planes flying with lights on at all. Um, so, I guess we're going to see where we go. Anyway, I've got to put the uh, control linkages on here and stuff like that and the w glue the windows in and the decal set and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm going to get that receiver going. I'll do another video on that. And then you'll get, you'll get to see the actual finalized plane. But the basic build goes real easy. A couple simple quick tips. Um, some of you guys are going to find you get back here to this rear stabilizer section and you think you've got it tight enough, but it wiggles. Or these things, the outer stabilizers, they wiggle. Don't be afraid to tighten those screws up a little bit, guys. They're setting into untapped plastic. So when you feel like they actually did bottom out finally, then they're probably tight enough. But jiggle it, test it, it you know, see if, it, if it's actually tight enough. Because at first it felt like, man, I had them tight, tight and, you know, plenty, plenty tight. Didn't want to crush foam or nothing. Uh, but they were loose. <laughs> Slopped around. I'm like, that can't fly the thing like that. And sure enough, I give a few more turns, and, and it goes in stiff. But you can almost feel you can almost feel the screw kind of bottom out plastic, like a plastic to plastic blunt. And then it's done. Um, and then you end up with a real nice tight solid tail and, and stabs here. Okay. So other than that, this thing is looking great. I'm going to hook the uh, control linkages up and figure out that receiver. And uh, then I'll give you guys a complete demo of the finished product. Okay, in the meantime, this is the, the, the basic build of the V24 Liberator from Motion RC. I got one of the last ones, guys. They're sold out now. Got to wait till I think, January or something like that before the next ones come in. Thanks for watching. We will catch you guys later, and uh, happy flying. Hope to see you soon. Oh, the other reason I <laughs> didn't put the props and stuff on is I forgot I've got a motor here I'm waiting for them to uh, to replace oh, this one over here the right wing here so that's all already on the way uh, thanks motion RC you guys got that thing shipped out in the same day that I asked you for it which was the same day I bought this thing so I mean outstanding guys thank you so much appreciate that I expect to see that in the mail anytime soon and uh, in the meantime beautiful plane I mean it is flawless guys the paintwork on this thing I haven't found a scratch or a dent or a nail mark. I mean, I got lucky with this one. And somebody took their time on the paint job. Uh, you know, because I'm looking around and then through the uh, the flaps. And 
and things like that. And places that where you would find dry spots and places where you know they just weren't covered, you find bare foam. I haven't found any of that on this. Just did a real, real sweet job. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice, happy new year. We'll catch you after the new year. I'll probably have this thing completed by then. And uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. We love those thumbs up. Subscriptions are great. I only need another 100, uh, 100 subscriptions, I think, to, uh, to get my 1,000. And then I can actually ask for donations to uh, help me build some of these planes. Just kidding, guys. I wouldn't ask anybody for a cent. I'm having a gas doing this stuff, and, and I enjoy sharing, uh, sharing the wealth. Take it easy, guys.